So, four Romanian boys took on Game Lord and sent them to the lobby while taking the trophy for themselves. But with Game Lord looking stronger and being the favorite to win, how on earth did they manage it? I know, and by the end of this video, you will too. Welcome to the network. In Phase 5, Game Lord take both SWAT 69 and their position on top of the hill on the northeast side of Zone. Four Romanian boys are in their own compound to the north, but with their neighbors fleeing to the new southern zone, they are free to start moving in themselves and try and fit in somewhere in the circle. Meanwhile, Game Lord moves south along the edge of the circle to the road, and from there they begin their onslaught onto Penta. With throwables flying and knocks being dealt either side, it's Clear Vision's involvement that brings Penta to a solo, whilst leaving Game Lord still standing as four. As the zone shifts mid-south towards Clear Vision, Spicy crosses the road and takes out Penta, whilst four Romanian boys move into the airdrop in the road and huddle around it. On the other side, Spicy is knocked, so Clear Vision make the push and take out Akashi. With Game Lord down to three, Spicy is rezzed and they take over Penta's previous position. Narvalo is still on the road on an off angle and uses it to knock four Romanian boys' Paco while making the cross before finishing up clear. With just them and Game Lord left, Tudor takes the buggy to zone and draws enemy fire. Whilst occupied with Tudor, Game Lord gets shot by the rest of four Romanian boys. Spicy getting knocked, Narvalo going low. Four Romanian boys cross the road as a duo and knock Robs, leaving just Narvalo at 1 HP. He is able to get the knock onto Paco but is taken out in the end by Kimi for second place. What I want to talk about is this last play from four Romanian boys, with Tudor full sending to zone and drawing fire. Whilst they had done well to make it this far, their position was dangerous, and the zone was no longer kind to them. They couldn't make the push in the open. Even as a three-man squad, they would have been gunned down fairly quickly. Going one by one or trying to spread out on foot wasn't an option either. In a seemingly hopeless situation, a desperate play was required. Although Game Lord technically had more cover than four Romanian boys, once you get over the ridge, it's very open. One player sending it to zone in a buggy could distract Game Lord enough into making a mistake and allowing the rest of the team to make it to that ridge. Four Romanian boys had to have great communication and cover to make this play work. Tudor made the push, which took all of the fire off of the duo remaining on the road and onto the buggy. This, unfortunately for Narvalo and Spicy, broke their cover, exposing them to the duo the team was ignoring, and they were able to put a lot of damage onto the players, both advancing their situation and protecting their teammate. Once they got to that ridge, it was easy to pick up the last two knocks and win the game. This plan would have failed if, in short, Game Lord hadn't fallen for the bait. Switching all the focus to the buggy, and more importantly, in doing so exposing themselves to the other enemy players, was a huge mistake that could have easily been avoided by taking a page out of Navi's book. Yes, I know, I always find a way to bring them up, but they still have some of the best defensive and controlling tactics I've seen, and it would have been very easy to use the play I'm talking about here. Navi like to draw a line in zones and defend it, forcing players to move elsewhere by passing the fire from teammate to teammate. Game Lord had the perfect opportunity to do this, with Narvalo taking the first shots, then passing it to Robs, with Spicy moving to the tree and taking the last shots. This would have left Robs and Narvalo free to refocus onto the other duo, unexposed and ready. Spicy at this point would have knocked Tudor, putting a check onto the push and even allowing him to potentially spread out and have a strong line of defense onto four Romanian boys. Whilst mistakes and zones can help a team win without much effort, this win was definitely well earned by four Romanian boys. The presence of mind, communication, team synergy, planning, and quick decision making were all imperative in making this game a win for them. It's very easy to get in your head in the heat of battle, especially when you know your enemy is as skilled and impressive a team as Game Lord. Keeping your cool is both the hardest and most important factor of competitive play, especially at this level, and four Romanian boys pulled it off. If you want to learn from the best in the business and apply their strats to your gameplay, I've broken down plays from Na'Vi to A7 to Metalcore, and you can find all of those videos here. Have a great day wherever you are, and see you next time.